Yelp connects people with great local businesses, but who are the people behind the scenes? We want to give you an inside look. It's no secret that we have a review filter built onto the site. Where did the idea for that come from? You know, it didn't take long from the time that we launched the site in 2004 that we saw our first obviously fake review. Mm -hmm. And part of that's just the, the history of the space. If you go back and look at, you know, City Search that came before us, there were sites that really were fairly open to abuse. You know, frankly, the, you know, people that wanted to manipulate the system could go on there and write fake reviews for themselves and it was really easy to do and frankly a lot of people were doing it. It was pretty prevalent. So it's almost like people were trained that that was uh, the way it worked online. That you just wrote testimonials for yourself and then forgot about it and, and the online thing was over. Uh, when we set out to create Yelp, we wanted to create something that was actually really useful. That captured authentic word of mouth. And the only way you can build a site that has that authentic word of mouth is if you find a way to protect it and eliminate the majority or eliminate it all, if possible, of, the, of anything that's biased. Because if you capture the authentic word of mouth, you're going to do everybody a service. It's great for the business owners that are really succeeding, that are delivering great value, that are delivering a great service. And it's phenomenal for consumers because time and time again, they get to spend their money with the best businesses out there. What advice do you have for a business owner that maybe has received a negative review on the site? You know, every business owner is going to run into that, no matter what, because it's impossible for every person that walks into the door for the rest of eternity. You can't expect that everyone is always going to be perfectly satisfied. Mistakes will happen, you know, lightning will strike, something will go wrong, and that's okay. So the first step, I think, is to take a deep breath and do nothing. You know, just step back and uh, pull back from the situation and give yourself, you know, some time to, to think about it and reflect. I think the next thing that, that's important is to remember immediately the big picture. There's all these reviews on the site, and for, and for most businesses, there's a lot of reviews for that particular business. And guess what? Consumers know that. And when they come and they look at the reviews, they're going to look at the good and the bad. And so if day in and day out you're providing a great value, great service, the reviews are going to reflect that, and that one negative review really doesn't count for everything. It's not the end of the world. And finally, when you do take a look at that, that negative review, it's important to actually take it to heart and say, is there anything there that I could have done better? Is there any feedback that I shouldn't necessarily take personally, but that could help me improve my business? And if you talk to the business owners that are most successful with Yelp, that's really what they do. They're able to take any negativity or take any constructive comments and bring that back into their business, make changes that delight customers, and then guess what? That's even more positive reviews that, that they then have to improve their overall profile on Yelp.